Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be taking you guys through how to properly isolate and activate your glutes before working out. Basically this video is just going to be my warm up before I like to do my leg or glute workout. If you're new to my channel make sure you click that subscribe button to join the family and follow me on my socials to keep up with me because I post more outside of YouTube. Anyway so yeah let's start. So for those who don't know, warming up is really important before you start working out. This is something that's very basic and you should already know this even having fit, uh, what's it called? Uh, what was that high school uh, course that we always, phys ed or is physical education, yeah. So basically warming up is really important because it prepares your body for exercising by gradually increasing the heart rate and circulation and this will loosen the joints and increase blood flow to the muscles and when you stretch as well that also helps you out a lot at the end of this video i'm going to show you guys the little things that i do to also stretch because this also prevents injury and helps with range of motion so this can also potentially help you reach more maximum results Throughout the whole video, pretty much when I warm up, you guys will see me even be sweating a little bit, which is great. For me personally, I love to sweat before I get into my workout because then I know, okay, my body is actually ready to be doing the things that it's supposed to be doing. So right now I'm just doing hip abductors with the bands. You guys will see me using the bands a lot just because that's just my preference some people like to use other things but i just perform i just prefer uh what's it called resistance bands so next we're gonna do um it's kind of like a deadlift but not really it I, I actually don't really know how to um what to call this it's not really a deadlift because you're not lifting it but if you guys have an idea comment down below and let me know because i honestly don't know what to call these but basically what we're doing is we have the two bands that are giving us resistance and i love doing this one The after two sets of these this is going to you're gonna feel your glutes just like i don't even know how to explain it you guys i get so excited when i'm always doing this exercise because it's such a good exercise so my tip for these would, when you're doing them, just squeeze and take your time. Throughout the whole warm-up, usually when I warm-up, it takes me about 25 to 30 minutes. And I don't like to rush or anything like that. I like to take my time. And like I said, when you're warming up, you really want to do it properly. Don't rush. Make sure that your body is fully warming up so you don't hurt yourself when you're actually doing the exercises. So another major tip throughout this whole exercise too especially with the squats and the other ones just make sure that your knees are not going inwards when you squat or when you go down make sure that your knees are always going outwards and causing resistance to the bands okay So this next exercise, this is banded sidewalks. I also love these for my warm-ups. The only thing is that I could only do five steps on each side just because the other side of the gym was busy and I didn't want to include the like the background because you guys know in my last workout video, some lady was complaining about people being in the background so i had to do it in a corner so i was in, so if you at least instead of doing five steps like how i did in this video try to do at least 15 to 20 steps you're gonna feel it so in your glutes oh let me tell you the way that it's gonna burn but it's a good burn though and then after the 15 to 20 reps of the sidewalks just add a little extra thing like squats or lean forwards just like how i'm doing just just for extra because you know me i love, i tell you guys i love that little extra burn and little extra push i love a challenge okay and that's why my booty is fit <laughs> Just a little motivational advice or quotes. Just remember when you're doing, when you're working out or exercising or doing whatever, just keep it at the back of your head that it hurts now, but literally next time it will be your warm up, okay? 
some people look at me crazy when like i tell my friends to go through my workout and they do and they're like damn like this is your warm-up we ha-. and then i tell them i'm like we haven't even started a workout yet so i don't even know why you are doing nonsense to be yeah so anyways so next we have um basically hip abductors but on the side these are actually quite a little bit painful but they are very effective i personally can only do like 10 to 15 reps and then it starts really burning and you tense up a little bit but that's okay that's just how the exercise is you just gotta push through take breaks if you can don't rush it or um force yourself too much because it does hurt just a little bit Oh, and another thing I forgot to tell you guys, the bands that I'm using, they are my brand, okay? I'm going to be releasing them very soon, okay? Stay tuned. Comment down below if you guys are going to cop them because I'm very unsure how many I should be getting from my manufacturer because I don't really know how much or how many people are going to buy. But anyways, next we're going to do hip thrusts. You guys know that I love, love, love hip thrusts and I personally think that they are the main exercise that helped me grow my glutes because they are very very effective but they are very effective if you do them properly when i do them take your time make sure you see how when i go to the top my body is straight and i'm putting all the weight on my heels and like i said in the last tip make sure your knees are going outward not inward So next we have donkey kickbacks. These are pretty basic. Everybody knows how to do kickbacks. There's not really much to it or any secret. Well, any if you just want a little extra challenge, when you get to the top, just do a three second pause. That will just give your glutes just a little extra push. But yeah, donkey kickbacks are pretty basic. There's not much to them. So yeah, if you don't know how to do these, you must be doing something very wrong, my girl. So next we're doing the banded squats. This is pretty much what we did like in the beginning of this video, but we don't have the two extra bands for the resistance. This one is just one band. So sometimes what I like to do, I know on the screen it says 10 to 15 reps, but sometimes me personally, I like to, when I'm done with my stretches and I'm done warming up, sometimes I just like to do a little extra challenge for myself and I'll max out and I'll do 50 reps before I start getting into my workout. So 
I don't know about you guys, but I honestly, I just love getting a pump when I work out. So sometimes when I do body weight or very low uh, weight and lots of high reps, this really helps me shock my muscles and get a nice pump throughout my whole workout. Okay guys, so that is it for the exercise that I like to do to warm up. Now I'm just going to do stretch variations. I do have a video on my channel in the past on how to improve your flexibility. So if you guys are interested into that, that's more detailed. So like I said, if you guys are interested in that, you can go check that out on my channel. But yeah, that's pretty much it. When you're doing stretches, just try to spend at least 30 seconds on each exercise stretch. This will help... Um, what's it called help with your flexibility and your range of motion but like i said in the beginning of this video which is really important but yeah that's pretty much it Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to join the family. Comment down below what is your favorite exercise or warm-up routine or yeah. So yeah, because I want to know you guys' feedback and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Mwah.